hi shinmi mehta here today we are going to talk about competency model first of all the significance of these models these models are the foundation and play a role of backbone for important human function such as development and growth training and performance management such competency model are resources for identifying the knowledge and skill needs and gaps so what is competency it is an ability to do something successfully or efficiently competencies include all the related knowledge skills abilities and attributes that form a person's personal professional self this set of context specific qualities is correlated with super or superior performance and can be used as a standard against which to measure his her performance as well as to develop recruit and hire people so let's talk about in detail when we learning something new we obviously want to make it into a skill that becomes a habit it comes a change so that we can improve our performance and this is especially true and most difficult for anything regarding attitude and behavior so there is four stages of learning that we can need to go through in order for whatever we learn actually manifest itself in performance in a skill we all read books and go through training workshop but often it doesn't translate into an actual change in behavior so for the first step of learning is what we can call unconscious incompetence stage 1 unconscious incompetence basic stage where learner isn't aware that a skill or knowledge gap exists when we don't know what we don't know and i'm going to use an example of driving a car to explain it when we first wanted to drive a car or to learn we didn't know what we didn't know when we needed to know actually to drive a car and once we started going through the theory part of it we start to realize what we didn't know so i ca- i call it unconscious incompetence capable the learner is aware of a skill or knowledge gap and understands the importance of acquiring the new skill and even when we started to learn we realize it wasn't that simple we couldn't just get behind the wheel and start driving this stage calls conscious incompetence second stage and that means that now we realize that i learn some theory it means i can actually get behind the wheel with a professional person and start practicing and that's the third stage of learning which is called conscious competence or accomplishment of our task and this is stage when we get behind the wheel of the car we start to drive but we have an instructor beside us we have to think about stop or what we are doing we are not fully competent yet as we practicing this may more and more it becomes a habit gain confident and we really start learning this and applying it to the point where and which is the good of every training our goal of every training we become unconscious confident here we are expert of the task in other word we don't have to think about what we are doing we have mastered the skill and we are able to perform it just like driving to work without thinking about it each step of what we are doing we what we just Uh, somehow show up to work unconsciously through the prof- process safely as well as so the goal of every learning is to become unconscious confident and that's when a new habit forms and 
again it is easier to do with the motor skill much more difficult for an attitude and behavior and for this you need to really set a goal you need to have affirmations you need to have reminders you need to really be conscious of making that change and be motivated to do it so i hope this information is helpful for acquiring new skills or attitude and behavior in your life and career